gotten some questions recently about partitioning in BigQuery and clustering in BigQuery. And I'll probably get into like a technical, you know, course section about these topics later because they are fairly technical. But first I want to talk about like how to think about partitioning, how to think about clustering and what they really mean. So all partitioning means is in a BigQuery context is your table can basically be partitioned into separate sections just like a hard drive would be um, that are quickly accessible. Um, so if you want to pull one partition versus another partition, uh, it'll be faster, of course, to just pull one partition versus another versus pulling the entire table. So at the at the level, for example, say you have Google Analytics data and you want to partition it by day because you only view one day at a time of data or you only want to run a SQL query on a certain subset of days, right, the last 30 days. So you can query um, just for your last 30 days and a BigQuery will only bill you for querying those specific partitions instead of if your table is unpartitioned, in which case they would bill you for part, you know, querying the entire table and not just those partition subsets. Um, so in general, partitioning, if you're able to use it, is better than not using partitioning in terms of it'll keep your query costs down, it'll keep your query run times down, um, it'll keep your environmental impact down because not, let's not forget, um, you know, we are using resources when we run queries in BigQuery. It's not like uh, vapor, you know, it's it's real. It's We have an impact with our, our usage here. Um, so partitioning is good. Can it always be used or is it always relevant? I would say if you're working with relatively small data, um, so like sub million rows, you know, it's it's going to be a marginal benefit in terms of time and cost. If you're working with data larger than a million rows, you know, then you can start to see some returns on partitioning. Um, so that's kind of the break point where I'd recommend starting to look into it or starting to use it. Your limitation with partitioning is always going to be, can you get... Um, can you get raw part get your raw data partitioned when it's entered into BigQuery? So if you're using Stitch or Fivetran or Supermetrics or any of these tools, um, there's some special steps you need to go through to get your raw data partitioned um, at the level of you know when it's entered into the database. Um, if you're writing your own script, right, you'll need to when you create the table. Uh, set it to be partitioned so that you can use that partition later on. Um, so generally you need to make sure, can you get the data to be partitioned so you can use it in that, in that way. If you can't have your raw, if there's no way for you to have your raw data be partitioned when you enter it into the database, if you are using dbt, you can write partitions into your queries. So you can take an unpartitioned table make it, you know, your query that runs off of it, the result of that can then be partitioned um, via some settings. And I'll link to the dbt, talk, dbt docs on partitioning in the video here. Um, so you can always create an un, a partition table from an unpartitioned table using dbt. And then at least at the level of say, like the table you're viewing for Data Studio or for other reporting, at least that table can then be partitioned so that you can save on like your report queries, you can save that, make them snappier, right? Run faster and also save you a bit of money on your budget. Um, so that's partitioning. I would say all, all things being equal, it's better to partition than not. Um, your cost savings uh, will be, and, and time savings will be much higher if the larger your data gets. Um, yeah, and I recommend, you know, I recommend doing it. There are limitations of partitioning. I think at current, you know, BigQuery limits you to like 2,500 partitions per table or something like that. So what we do at Coding is for Losers is generally partition our data by month. Um, so we make like a year month uh, integer field and partition by integers that way versus partitioning by a date field. Um, and that just gives us more mileage in terms of if we need to deal with you know, 10 years of, of data 
you're not going to be able to do that with a daily partition necessarily. Um, and the other limitation with partitioning is you, if you're backfilling data um, and you're doing date partitioning, I don't think you can make partitions more than a year in the past. So that's another reason why we use this year month integer partitioning on our, you know, like internal tools on query.recipes on anything, any of the recipes that we're publishing. Um, so the other thing to consider with partitioning is there's a close cousin of partitioning called clustering. Clustering doesn't create partitions necessarily. So it doesn't create like a separate database table within a table that you can think about partitioning. Clustering orders your data in the, in the order that it's likely to be fetched. So if you want to cluster, for example, by if you have a table that has all of your sites and, you know, traffic data from Google Analytics, you might want to cluster by like site name or account and uh, date so that at least you're likely to be pulling ordered data by site and date from when you query out that table. So clustering is not, it's, it's a bit of a time and cost savings only in the way that it's kind of like ordering your data in the way that you want to query it. And again, most of the time what we do is we just use uh, dbt to create our clusters um, in like the the model config for every dbt model um, but other than that most of the tools out there you know i'm thinking like stitch and fivetran they don't really deal with um, clustering necessarily so i would focus first on partitioning and then clustering is kind of like a nice to have later. Hope that helps. A lot more to dive into here, but want to just give a quick overview of how we think about partitioning and clustering. Take care.